Hello kids, so today, there's like no light right here. Ha, huh, still really no light. Um, I'm gonna throw together a lemon tart using the lemon curd that we made before and during which I will show you how to make a pie crust, which can also be used for tarts. So let's get making a pie crust, a nice flaky pie crust. And you're gonna find that the key ingredient to a flaky pie crust is the freezer. Gotta keep it chilly. Okay, let's go, let's do this, let's make this happen. Okay, for your pie crust, you're gonna want 140 grams of flour, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of sugar, a half teaspoon of salt. We're gonna put this in the freezer for at least 10 minutes up to a few hours. Then you wanna get cold chopped butter, 112 grams. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an egg yolk to the ice water, get that up a bit, put that in the fridge so it stays chilly, and add that to my um, pie crust. Okay, so take your super chilly ingredients, all your flour and your dry goods, and your chilled butter, and put it into the food processor until it's a sandy consistency. Just like that right there. This can be a little unorthodox for pie crust. Some people are purists and just wanna keep it the same way. But if you wanna add any kind of flavoring, like a spice or a zest or something like that, now's the time to do it. Uh, after the butter, before the ice water, egg yolk combinations. This is our egg yolk and water mixture. It's been chilling in the fridge. We're gonna add a couple tablespoons at a time. Just start with two and then start pulsing it just like this. Yeah, you want it to start to come together. So you're gonna add a tablespoon at a time until it just begins to come together. You don't want it to get too terribly wet. Okay, so flour your board and bring out the dough from the food processor and you're just gonna shape it into an oval. There you go, just like this. And then you're gonna cover it in plastic wrap Butter is what I'm pointing out there. <laughs> Cover it in plastic wrap, and you're gonna pop that into the freezer for about a half an hour. After it's nice and chilled, sorry, an hour. After it's nice and chilled, you're gonna to start to roll it out. Make sure there's enough flour on everything so it doesn't stick. So I want you to notice just a little push here and there first, and keep your dough moving. See how I'm doing that? So that way it never sticks to your board. Now when you get it nice and big, the size of your pie tin, just pop it over like this, flour the bottom, and just slide the pie tin underneath it. And then coax your dough into the corners. You don't force it, just coax it. Okay, so this pie tin is rather large. It's about a couple of inches, so I need to trim it off. I want it to come only halfway up the tin. This is not a traditional tart tin here. It's rather big, so I'm just cutting off the excess and trimming it down. Okay, first I got the same size all the way around, just about. Hopefully it won't shrink anymore. Now I'm going to dock it, which means prick it. After you've docked your dough, line it with some parchment and then put in uh, pie weights or baking beans or something to weigh it down because you don't want it to bubble up. This is just gonna weigh down your dough while it's baking. Make sure it gets all the way in the corners and all the way up the sides. There you go. And then put it in the oven. Now halfway through cooking, you're gonna take it out of the oven and take the baking beans out. You wanna expose everything now. There you go. And then redock your dough so you don't get any bubbles forming up. There you go. Pop that back into the oven to finish baking. And then when it's all finished, you'll see it start to take come away from the tin a little bit and brown around the sides. You want this to be completely baked because you're not rebaking it with the filling. 
Pour your ready-made filling into your baked pie crust, level it off, and you have a tart. Ta-da! All right, let's take a look at the bottom. Wow, that is baked beautifully. Fantastic, okay. Well, I trimmed off the edges. So, I mean, it's still not down as far as it should be. It looks a little rough and ready. So I think what I'm gonna do is dust it with some powdered sugar and hopefully that will make it look a little bit better. <laughs> End result.